I'm going to show you how fun and easy it is to create a project using Adorable U. Click on the shapes and banner icon and scroll until you find the shape you want. Now the photo I have chosen has a lot of people in it so I just want the square. Actually I'm going to make it rectangle so I'm going to click and drag and rescale it. I want a few things on this one hoop so I'm going to keep it over to the one side a wee bit. You'll know that that frame is active when you see the black corner boxes. This will ensure that the properties box on the right hand side comes up for you and you'll be able to select photo and import your photo. Once it comes in you'll see that it has green corner boxes so click and hold on those and scale scale your photo. Remember here you can hold down the shift key and that will constrain the size of your photo. You don't want to add any extra pounds to anyone. So just keep adjusting. Click drag until you get it to fit exactly. It's a good idea to have your photo hang just outside of the frame a wee bit. That'll ensure that the stitches will cover the, the applique. Now I want a second shape with this project. So it's just going to be a single person in this one so I think the round will go nicely with it. So I've chosen the round frame. It's active. I can click on the photo, find the photo that I think will look good next to the large one. grab it, slide it in behind the second shape that you want. I want her to be a little bit bigger. So see how much is actually hanging outside of that frame now. It will all be cropped off when we go to print our applique. So don't worry about it being hanging out like that. Just going to position it a little more so that it all looks good. I'm going to add a little piece of embroidery now. So find it, bring it in. Now Adorable U has an auto density so I can change it manually or it will adjust as I scale this embroidery up or down it will actually change the number of stitches. I can change the thread color by clicking on there's only two thread colors in this piece of embroidery so choose one, click on it, go into the thread color I can either scroll through it and find the new thread that I want if I know the thread name I can just type that in once I find it just click on it and see how it changes it now I want to add just some text so by default text comes in saying adorable. I can reset that text right here just type in the new word click on set text. Now I can change the font may have to try a couple of different fonts until I find one that will go with this little project Maybe add a little curve. Hmm, now where is this going to look good? I think we should make it a little bit smaller. So as long as you see those corner boxes, you know that that piece that you're working on is the active piece and that you can rescale it. Yeah, this little project's starting to come together pretty well. I think maybe I will change the thread color of this frame. So make it active. Choose your new thread color.
Her school colors are green and gold. So I think we'll go with that theme. Let's find a nice gold, put it around that frame. Goes with the tassel on her cap. So take a look, see if you need any little final adjustments. Kind of hard to tell with that photo hanging out around. So let's have a look at what it's going to look like when it's actually printed. So click on print. Choose simulated embroidery. This way it will show what the final project is going to look like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you can just stop the printing now. We'll go back to our actual project. So any other adjustments you feel that you need to make if not, go ahead and save your embroidery. It's a good idea to save the whole file as a working file. So um, name your project. It'll save it as an AY file. This way you can go back in and have a, you can change up the photos. You can change anything around that you might want at a later date. And then go back in and save your embroidery file. So this is where you're going to choose the file type that your sewing machine uses. And it will create the embroidery file. So now you're going to have two files to work with. Your embroidery file to st stitch out and the you're going to print out your applique on either printable fabric or transfer paper. So let's get ready to print out the, the appliques and then we can continue on with our project. So here's the appliques. There's no embroidery around it. It's just the two appliques that we're going to print.